Hello everyone, I'm Owen and welcome to Smarts Unwrapped, the podcast where we dive deep into the innovations behind the Smarts platform. Today, we have a truly exciting conversation lined up. We're going to explore how Smarts is revolutionizing how everyday users interact with a powerful yet often hidden aspect of blockchain trading. Our goal is to shed light on complex concepts and inspire you with the vision behind Smarts' groundbreaking technology. Joining us today is Prakash, the visionary founder of Smarts, along with Smarts head of strategy, Liam. Welcome. Guys, welcome. It's awesome to have you both here. Prakash, let's kick it off with you. For those who don't know your story yet, what first got you into blockchain and how did that road lead you to building Smarts? Thanks so much for having me, Owen. Seriously, I'm excited to be here. My background actually spans both traditional finance and deep tech. I spent years in high-frequency trading firms, seeing firsthand how powerful automation and sophisticated algorithms can be in financial market. But I also saw how closed off it was. When I first encountered blockchain and then specifically DeFi, I was immediately captivated by its potential for open, permissionless finance. However, I noticed a huge gap. Much of the truly advanced profit-making strategies, especially those related to something called maximal extractable value or MEV, remained locked behind technical barriers or accessible only to well-funded insiders. And honestly, that just didn't sit right with me. That's how the idea for Smarts came to life. Yeah, you've really lived on both sides, from Wall Street to Web3. Okay, you mentioned MEV, maximal extractable value. For many of our listeners, that might sound like a highly technical term. Can you break down in simple beginner-friendly terms what MEV actually is and why it's so significant in the blockchain world? (laughs) Absolutely. Let's simplify MEV. Think of a blockchain as a digital ledger where transactions are grouped into blocks and added in order. Now, imagine a public waiting room for all these transactions. We call this the mempool. Miners or validators, the folks who actually create these blocks, decide which transactions go into the next block and in what order. MEV is essentially the extra profit they or certain specialized bots can make by cleverly reordering, inserting or even censoring transactions within a block. It is a value that goes beyond the standard transaction fees. It's like being able to see a few seconds into the future and subtly positioning yourself to benefit from the foresight. Ah, got it. So it's about optimizing the sequence of events. Can you give us an example? Sure thing. A common example is something called a sandwich attack. Imagine you want to buy a large amount of a new token on a decentralized exchange. Your order, because it's large, might significantly move the price up once it executes. A sophisticated bot Scanning the mempool in real time spots your pending large buy order. It then quickly places its own small buy order just before yours. Your large buy then goes through pushing the price up and immediately after that, the bot sells its newly acquired tokens just after your transaction at the new higher price. The bot sandwiches your trade, pocketing the price difference. You, the regular user, end up paying a slightly worse price for your tokens. I see that's a very clear illustration. So essentially, regular users are often losing value without even realizing it. How much value are we talking about here? The numbers are quite staggering, I must say. Industry analysts estimate that over $1 billion in cumulative MEV gains has been extracted across blockchain networks in recent years. More than $1.3 billion in value has been taken from normal users due to MEV techniques like front running and sandwich attacks. It's a hidden tax on DeFi users. Wow, that's insane. $1.3 billion is a significant amount. This brings us to why MEV has traditionally been exclusive to institutions or technical insiders. Okay, let me direct this question to Liam. Why has this been the case and what barriers existed for the average person? Thanks, Owen. Very happy to be here. Well, historically, it was exactly like what Prakash said. MEV was exclusive. The entities benefiting were primarily miners and validators because they controlled block production and order. Uh, Then came a handful of highly technical individuals or expert searcher bots and professional trading firms. The barriers were massive. Let me summarize some of the important ones. First, significant technical skill. You needed deep coding knowledge, often in specialized languages, to build these bots. 
Next, requiring large amounts of capital. Competing in this arena often required substantial funds to make profitable trades and to pay high priority fees to get transactions included quickly. Uh, then, you need advanced infrastructure, access to low latency infrastructure like high performance nodes and direct connections to miners or validators was crucial to win the race. Finally, the sheer complexity of MEV, understanding the intricate mechanics of different blockchain protocols, and DeFi opportunities was a full-time job. Essentially, it was the domain of a few elite players who had the resources, the knowledge, and the speed to capitalize on these micro inefficiencies. This context truly highlights the problem. And that's where smarts comes in, right? Prakash, what truly inspired smarts? Was there like a light bulb moment or a specific frustration that led you to build this platform? The light bulb moment was precisely that feeling of unfairness. I realized that this massive amount of value over a billion dollars was flowing to a select few, while regular users were either unaware or worse, were effectively paying for it through worse trade execution. My frustration was seeing this incredibly powerful opportunity exist, but it was completely inaccessible to the very people who are making blockchain great, the retail users. The inspiration for smarts was the idea of turning this paradigm around. Instead of being a victim of MEV, I thought, what if everyday users could leverage it for their own gain? What if we could give them an unfair advantage that was previously reserved for blockchain insiders? That's what Smarts aims to do. I love that. That's a powerful shift. So given that, what gap does Smarts fill in the blockchain space? The biggest gap we fill is the democratization of MEV profits. We're leveling the playing field. Before Smarts, if you wanted to profit from MEV, you basically had two options. Either you were a large miner or validator, or you were a highly skilled developer with a huge budget to build and run your own sophisticated bots. For 99% of crypto users, neither of those options was viable. Smarts bridges this by abstracting away all that complexity. We provide the infrastructure, the advanced strategies, the AI models, and the risk controls all out of the box. It's a plug and play service that makes advanced trading tactics accessible. It's about ensuring that the value generated by MEV is redistributed to the community of regular users, not just concentrated at the top. We empower users to trade smarter, not harder. That's a very compelling mission. This idea of making sophisticated strategies accessible really resonates. So Prakash, what kind of users does Smart serve? Is it for experienced traders or truly for anyone? Smarts is built for a broad range of crypto users, from the retail trader who might be exploring meme coins, to the DeFi enthusiast who wants to maximize his or her yield, to someone completely new to automated trading, basically anyone can use it. Our design philosophy is effortless passive trading. You shouldn't need to be glued to charts 24 seven or understand complex algorithms. With Smarts, you can let our bot find profitable opportunities real time on your behalf. It's a set and forget investing approach. The bot handles opportunity detection, execution, and profit taking seamlessly. This means you can earn consistent returns without constant monitoring or technical intervention. It's designed to be as user-friendly as connecting a wallet and making a deposit. <laughs> Music to my ears, set it and forget it. That sounds incredibly convenient, especially for people who have jobs or simply don't want to spend all their time trading. It really brings the concept of passive income to life through advanced technology. All right, Liam, before we wrap, what is the long-term vision for smarts and where do you see it heading in the next few years? Great question. So our long-term vision is anchored in inclusive finance and continuous innovation. We see smarts as a fundamental part of the broader DeFi ecosystem improvement, capturing value for users and making the ecosystem fairer. Firstly, multi-chain expansion is a top priority. Most newbies have probably only heard of Bitcoin or Ethereum. Initially, Smarts was also only deployed on Solana, but we've actively worked on extending Smarts to other major blockchain networks. In this quarter alone, we managed to go live on two major chains, Binance, Smart Chain, and Solana. Our long-term goal is to allow our users to deploy capital and capture MEV opportunities wherever they exist across the decentralized landscape, essentially becoming chain agnostic. Imagine managing all your MEV strategies from one dashboard across multiple chains. Secondly, 
we're preparing to take another major step forward with the launch of two specialized trading bots. These bots are part of our broader vision of creating an ecosystem where automated yield strategies are intelligent, accessible, and diversified. The first release will be our Atomic Arbitrage bot. Arbitrage has long been one of the most reliable profit strategies in financial markets, but executing it on-chain requires precision, speed, and deep liquidity insight. Our bot is designed to scan multiple decentralized exchanges in real time, detecting even small price discrepancies between liquidity pools, say, a 0.3% price difference between Uniswap and SushiSwap, and executing a bundled trade that captures the spread instantly. The second major release is the background liquidation bot. In lending protocols like Aave or Compound, liquidations occur when borrowers fail to maintain their collateral ratio. These are time-sensitive events that when captured properly, can generate substantial returns for those who help close the debt. Our bot will monitor these protocols for liquidation events, then immediately act to claim the profit opportunity. We want to continue to explore new avenues to give users access to more stable, lower risk trades that accumulate consistent returns over time, and to broaden the profit mechanisms beyond sandwiching. From a user perspective, this means more chances to benefit from high value, event-driven trades with no manual input required. From a platform perspective, it reinforces our commitment to developing intelligent infrastructure that is driven by real opportunity and engineered for long-term use. Oh, by the way, in this quarter, we're working on deploying our bot on Arbitrum 2. Stay tuned. That's a truly ambitious and exciting roadmap. Just wow, Liam. Bringing more chains, more intelligence, and more user involvement. Thank you very much to the both of you for shedding light on MEV and sharing the inspiring vision behind Smarts. It's clear you guys are building something truly impactful. All right, before we sign off, Prakash, last words for our listeners. Just this, at Smarts. We believe the future of finance is inclusive, and that means everyone should have access to the powerful tools and opportunities that were once only for the rich and powerful. I invite you to learn more about Smarts and see for yourself just what we are building towards. Couldn't agree more. To our listeners, just like what Prakash said, if you're curious about how you can leverage automated MEV strategies for your own portfolio, we highly recommend exploring Smarts. You can find more information about Smarts online. Be sure to check out their official website at smarts.money, as well as their social media channels to learn more about how to get started and follow their journey. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And to Prakash and Liam, thanks for this awesome chat. Until next time, stay smart out there.